Hello student. Today we are going to start with our next topic. Okay, that is ray. Yesterday we have learned our basics of geometry like point, line, segment, isn't it? So today we are going to learn ray. What is ray? What is line? Okay. So before we start the chapter, all of you take out your book number eight, page number three. Okay. So students, you can see here we have learned. We will read ray. Okay. So what is ray? When I extend a line. Segment C X Y in one direction only, we get a ray X Y, and it is written as X Y above. You can see the arrow is drawn. To show extension, we put an overhead as Y as shown below. So you can see the picture here. Two at first two points are given that is X and Y, and after giving the points name, the lines are joined. Okay, then it has become the line segment. But the line is extended in one direction. Okay, that is right hand direction, isn't it? So this the extended line is called a ray. Okay, and it is written in this form. Okay, it is written in this form. X Y you will write and above you will put the arrow sign. Okay, you have understood, students. Now let us go to go to the properties of ray. So you can see here here it is given properties of ray. Properties of ray is first point is given. It has only one end point, isn't it? It has only one end point, but line segment has two end points, and ray has only one end point. Number two is given. It has no definite or fixed length, and it cannot be measured. Okay, it doesn't have it doesn't have any definite length, and it cannot be measured also. Number three, since a ray can be extended endlessly in one direction, we cannot draw this on a paper. But put arrow instead, okay? As it extended in one direction only, endlessly. So we cannot draw this in a piece of paper, okay? Only what we do, we put a arrow head instead, okay? At last, you will put the arrow sign. Clear, students? Is it clear to you? Now let us start the next topic. That is line. Now we will study what is line. When we extend a line segment. Say x y endlessly in both the directions, we get line x y, and it is written as x y line. To show extension, we put arrowheads on both the sides as shown below. Okay, so what is line? That a, a line you can see here. Two points are already given. That is x and y. Then the lines line segment has drawn. After drawing the line segment. This both the ray uh, lines are extended in both the direction. Okay, so the lines which are extended in both the direction, this line is called as line. Okay, so this line segment is called as line. Is it clear, students? Okay, and it is written in this form. Okay, it is written in this form. Now you can see here properties of line given. It has no end point. It has no definite length and cannot be measured. Okay, same like ray. Ray also it cannot be measured and line also cannot be measured. Number three, it is given since a line cannot can be extended endlessly, we cannot draw a line on a piece of paper. Instead, put an arrow on both the sides. Okay, as these lines are extended in both the direction, so we cannot draw this line in a paper. So instead of doing that, only just put the arrow. Okay. Is it clear, students? So these are the different topic that we have learned in this chapter. Now I am going to show you what is the difference between line segment, line, and ray. So students, you can see as I have drawn line segment, ray, and line. Okay. So all these three I have drawn. So line segment is what? Here only line segment is drawn. That is two points are given. Okay. This point and this point. I will give the name as P and Q. Okay, so I have joined the lines already. So this line segment is named as P and PQ. Okay, so while we write line segment PQ, we will write in this form. Okay, students. So line segment has how many endpoints? Two endpoints. Okay, and as it is has it is having a fixed definite length. Now let us measure what is the length of this line segment. It is. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven point five. 
okay so we have got the measurement of this line it is 7.5 cm okay clear students and this line segment is measured in with the help of a ruler which i have shown just now okay and it is a part of a line okay students is it clear now you come to ray what is the difference the ray is extended in one direction okay that is right hand direction okay i have not used the ruler you can use it okay students so this at first we will give the name p and q okay so this line is extended in one direction and it is written in the form of p q this okay line has how many end points only one end points sorry students this is not a line this is ray ray has only one end points but line segment has two end points okay a ray cannot be measured okay as it moves on again it it uh, extend in one direction only it is extended in endlessly so it cannot be measured and it cannot be drawn in a paper also only what to do only you just put arrow in the end of the line okay students now what is about line that line is at first we will give the point name that is pq okay so it will be extended in one side right hand side and this side it will be extended in left hand side okay and this is written in this form pq arrow both side okay students so line doesn't have any end point ray has one end point and line segment has two end points line also cannot be measured in a with a ruler okay and line it cannot be drawn in a piece of paper also only what to do we will put the arrow at the end of the line is it clear students so this are the difference between a line segment ray and line is it clear to you so i hope whatever i have shown in this video it is clear okay so all of you go through the topic and all of you study these points okay students thank you